Hi, in today's video, we're going to see the next chapter in the ICD 10 CM. We've already covered six chapters, chapter specific coding guidelines, and today we are in seventh chapter Diseases of the Eye and Adnexa, H00 to H59 series. The Surya Johnson, your medical coding guide. Hi, in today's video, we're going to start the seventh chapter, Diseases of the Eye and Adnexa, that chapter. So if you've not seen the before guidelines, the general coding guidelines, the conventions of the ICD-10-CM, and also I have already released six chapters in ICD-10-CM, chapter-specific guidelines. If you've not seen those things, I'll put the links in the description box below. First, go and watch those videos so you'll get a better idea about all those chapters and the general guidelines. General guidelines and the conventions are very important. Go and watch those first. So this video is about the eyes and adnexa. We don't have the entire guideline for the eye and adnexa because you already know many codes are directly leading. Based on the documentation, you can go and select the codes directly without any specific guidelines. Just you have to follow the footnotes, the excludes, includes notes below the diagnosis. Only those things you should focus as we already discussed in the conventions and the general coding guidelines. So in this chapter, we have only two type of uh, guidelines. One is for the glaucoma and the other one is for the blindness or low vision. So these two guidelines only we're going to discuss in today's video. So the first one, A, glaucoma, under the disease of the eye and adnexa, chapter 7. What is glaucoma? We should know first what is glaucoma and what are the types of glaucoma and what do they mean by stages of glaucoma. So based on these three things only, you'll be coding and we'll see what are the guidelines to be followed. What is glaucoma? What are the types of glaucoma and stages of glaucoma? So glaucoma means it's a group of eye diseases, it's not like one condition of an eye. It's a group of eye diseases which if it's not treated, it can uh, result in vision loss and blindness. Total loss of vision, that is blindness, by damaging the nerves in the back of the eye. The back of the eye has a nerve that is called as the optic nerve. So this glaucoma is a group of diseases which if it's not treated, it will affect the optic nerve and it will cause damage. Uh, which will result in vision loss and blindness. So that is called as glaucoma. So when it comes to types of glaucoma, there are many types of glaucoma. They are open angle glaucoma, primary open angle glaucoma, and angle closure glaucoma, normal tension glaucoma, secondary glaucoma, because of some other disease like a disease of the eye or some other like injury, because of that glaucoma happens, right? So it's not directly glaucoma because of something else, something diseases, conditions or injuries. Glaucoma is upper spot, secondary glaucoma or pigmented glaucoma. There are many types of glaucoma. So these are the types of glaucoma. Then the uh, stages of glaucoma are mild, moderate, severe and indeterminate. Mild is at the beginning stage, moderate the next one. Severe is very severe stage of the glaucoma. And indeterminate is they cannot determine what kind of stage is. The doctor cannot determine what kind of stage is that. So you should be careful and we'll see that also in the guideline part. You should be careful, indeterminate is not unspecified. Indeterminate is not unspecified, indeterminate is uh, separate. Unspecified is the doctor hasn't documented, we'll see it in the guideline, so don't worry about that. So these are the stages of glaucoma. So coding glaucoma requires type of glaucoma and stages of glaucoma and the affected eye that is the right or left so laterality of the glaucoma these are three things that plays major role in assigning the glaucoma codes so we will see about the guideline now you know about the glaucoma types and stages so the first one under glaucoma is assigning glaucoma codes so whenever is glaucoma is documented so you can assign many codes from the category H40, that is glaucoma, to identify the type of glaucoma, the affected eye and the glaucoma stage. These three things should be uh, explained in the diagnosis. To identify these three things, you can assign many codes appropriately to identify the type of glaucoma, the affected eye, right or left eye and the stage of glaucoma. That is the first one. So you can assign as many as number of codes to identify all these three things. So the second point here is bilateral glaucoma with same type and stage. So this, what does it mean? Bilateral glaucoma, right and left eye glaucoma, both the eyes has the same type, has the same stage. So in this scenario, how you will code? Code for bilateral glaucoma. So you will be choosing the type of glaucoma and then bilateral code 
and then the seventh character seventh character is for this stage so when you have the glaucoma series h40 series there will be a seventh character to determine what kind of stage so if there is a bilateral glaucoma you will choose a bilateral glaucoma code from the correct type of glaucoma and then you will choose the correct seventh stage to explain bilateral glaucoma with the same type and stage so the documentation has bilateral glaucoma of the both eyes and same type and stage same stage then if there are codes they will go and choose the codes as per the uh, bilateral glaucoma same type same stage there is documentation of bilateral glaucoma of the both eyes documented being the same type and stage but the classification does not have a code for bilateral glaucoma there is no classification for bilateral glaucoma there is only classification for the type of glaucoma and the character that is the seventh character stage of glaucoma then you will choose that one you will choose the type of glaucoma with the appropriate seventh character for the stage because there is no uh, classification for bilateral so if there is a classification for bilateral that describes bilateral glaucoma with the type and stage you choose that one if there is no classification for bilateral glaucoma there is only type and stage then you will choose only that code so you got right if there is classification you'll go for that code if there is no classification for the bilateral laterality you code based on the type and stage only so that is the second point we are saying here so the third point here is bilateral glaucoma stage with dip, different types or stages so there is bilateral glaucoma of the both eyes right and left eye has glaucoma but it has different types or different stages in this scenario what you will do in this you will not code it as bilateral glaucoma of the same stage and type obviously right so you will code right eye with that type and that stage of glaucoma the left eye separate diagnosis with what type and what stage of glaucoma so you will divide the codes because both eyes do not have the same type or do not have the same stage in this scenario you will split the code right eye alone separately you will code and then left eye alone with a different code you will code so this is the guideline like already we saw for the h40.10 and h40.20 that does not have the bilateral till no lateral till so in this scenario also you will be not you will not consider the lateral till you will uh, assign codes for the type of glaucoma and the seventh character for the stage of glaucoma with different different eyes two times because there is no bilateral code for that so you'll assign separately we have already seen this the same thing in the second point so if there is no lateral till specifying there is no specification of lateral till at all in the classification then code only based on the type and stage of the glaucoma so if there is uh, same type same type but stages are different same type and stages are different for both the eyes you will code two codes right eye type with different stage left eye same type with different stage so stage is the seventh character so you will change seventh character for both the diagnosis so that is how you code the diagnosis should capture the exact thing from the documentation and if there is no classification available for that exact thing go to the nearest proximity or divide the codes divide the code to right eye separately and left eye separately don't try it always think like if there is bilateral glaucoma the code should always be bilateral no the major thing focused here is the type and the stage if there is no type you'll go to unspecified type if there is no stage you'll go to unspecified stage eyes are different types of glaucoma and different stages you split the codes don't just go on focusing on bilateral 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 got the point right so laterality does is not the major thing type and stages are more important in choosing glaucoma so have that in mind laterality is not the major thing types and stages are the most important thing so the each code should uh, describe correctly the type of the glaucoma and the stage of the glaucoma of the each eyes so this should be focused that is all about the second and third point so the fourth point under glaucoma is patient is admitted with glaucoma with one stage and after admission the stage evolves into a different stage for example the patient while admitting the stage of the glaucoma is mild after the admission the stage of the glaucoma is changed from mild to moderate in that situation you will assign the highest stage so mild is the lowest stage the next stage is the moderate so if the patient is having a moderate stage that has been evolved during the admission when the patient is in the hospital the patient has been admitted for the mild stage but later in the during the admission period the patient glaucoma has been worsened 
and change to a moderate stage then you will code the higher stage documented so higher stage so the fifth one here is indeterminate stage glaucoma we already saw what are the stages of glaucoma mild moderate severe and indeterminate so what is indeterminate indeterminate means doctor was not clinically able to determine he is not able to correctly clinically correlate whether this is mild moderate or severe in this scenario doctor will describe document that he is not able to clinically determine the stage of the patient glaucoma so it is called as indeterminate doctor tried to put his effort to determine the uh, stage but he is not able to determine it because of some complication or some conditions okay or because of the severity or because of some condition or something he is not able to clinically determine in this case you will choose the indeterminate stage that is the character fourth character that describes indeterminate stage in this scenario you will not choose unspecified that is the zero the seventh character zero will describe it as unspecified stage because indeterminate means doctor tried but he is not clinically not able to determine when it is unspecified doctor didn't document at all he didn't even care to uh, document the stage of the patient so it is not mentioned anywhere in the documentation in the patient file there is nothing mention of uh, the stage at all in this scenario you will be choosing unspecified doctor didn't specify the stage so you should not confuse with this unspecified is different indeterminate is different this is all about glaucoma so the next one that is the b blindness or low vision of both eyes under the disease of the eyes and adnexa so in the bind the blindness and low vision of both eyes uh, we should focus on one word visual impairment category visual impairment category so they will be mentioning this visual impairment category should be documented so there are three scenarios you should focus on blindness low vision coding the three criteria we should focus here is uh first one they have mentioned the laterality both eyes are affected both eyes have low vision but the visual impairment category has not been documented they didn't document the visual impairment category it is not documented but they have documented both eyes in this scenario you will code h54.3 so the next scenario they have mentioned only one eye is affected so one eye is documented affected but no visual impairment category is not documented in the scenario you will code h54.6 that category you will be coding unqualified visual loss one eyes the other one last case is they have mentioned blindness or visual loss only but they didn't mention which eye right eye or left eye or bilateral eye they didn't mention the affected eye and also they didn't mention the visual impairment and category so in the scenario you will be coding h54.7 which is unspecified visual loss so you should consider both eyes one eye or didn't mention at all so if both eyes are mentioned you will choose bilateral h54.3 without uh, mention of visual impairment category and uh, the second one is if they have mentioned one eye then you will just choose the laterality right or left if they didn't mention the laterality at all for the unspecified visual loss so this is how you code the blindness it's based on the uh, laterality and visual impairment category documented or not that is a simple thing here if the visual impairment category is documented what you will do there are specific diagnosis for that you'll go directly for that visual impairment category diagnosis both eyes for one eyes or without eye laterality the same steps are followed with mention of visual impairment category simple as that so it's all about the disease of the eye and adnexa we saw glaucoma and then blindness or low vision the other diagnosis in this category are straightforward that is why there is no separate guidelines for those it's always straightforward and if you have any doubts on the eyes and disease of the eyes and adnexa not only glaucoma or blindness if you have any other the doubts in this chapter please feel free to ask me in the comment section below or you can email me as well i'll try to answer those queries maximum If you found this video to be useful please hit the like button as always and if you've not subscribed yet subscribe and hit the notification icon so you'll not miss any of my future guideline or medical coding related video this is Surya Johnson your medical coding guide